Nearly $233,000 a year. That's what the average American needs to earn to feel financially secure. However, in 2021, the average American worker earned only $75,203 for the year. How nervous are Americans about their savings? A new survey reveals most are living paycheck to paycheck. It's not just low income or middle class families. High income families are living paycheck to paycheck too. A bank rate survey revealed that the average American citizen says they need to earn at least three times more than what they currently make to be financially secure as over 72% of Americans do not feel financially secure with their current finances. And more than a quarter of Americans believe they are unlikely to ever feel financially secure. Nearly half of Americans are now worried about their savings, more worried now than they were a year ago, according to a new poll by Bankrate.com about consumers' financial security, or these days, insecurity. Yeah. The numbers show that after the pandemic, Americans' finances have improved, their debt is lower, and their savings are higher. However, they still worry about their job security or whether they will be able to have a secure retirement in the future. With nearly 61% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck, many can't even cover their basic needs. About 40% of those surveyed are having trouble paying for things like housing, food and health care. This despite a growing economy and low national unemployment rate. This is the reality for millions of people in the United States. So if you feel financially insecure, you are not alone. So, why are so many Americans living paycheck to paycheck? And what can you do about it? Let's create a budget. In 2023, the estimated monthly income for a full-time worker is $4,400. However, the worker receives only 75.2% of that income after taxes and benefits, which reduces it to 3,308. And that's currently not enough to live in the United States. The cost of basic services and goods such as healthcare, education, and the cost of buying a house has skyrocketed in recent years, but wages have not kept up. Energy costs reaching multi-year highs, leaving consumers to pay the price. The skyrocketing prices impacting heating bills and prices at the pump. Let's take an example with some of the most common expenses for Americans. The average monthly rent in the United States is $2,029, which represents more than 46% of the average American's pre-tax income. Meanwhile, the average mortgage payment for a 2,400 square foot house is $1,1957 per month. However, a common rule suggests spending 28% or less of your pre-tax income on mortgage payments. For median gross monthly incomes, that translates to just $1,232. Currently, rent or mortgage payments represent the top financial concern for Americans under 40. Factors like inflation and rising interest rates have led to uncertainty about whether they can afford housing next month. Home prices are shattering records, especially in smaller cities. Buyers can barely afford to blink or risk losing the house they want. Housing prices in North Texas have gone up. Are you ready for this? 130% in the last decade. Cities like San Francisco, New York, and Southern California are known for being more expensive and Americans are aware of this. New York City has passed San Francisco as the most expensive city in the U.S. to rent an apartment. Zumper says it's the first time New York City has topped the list since 2014. Nearly a quarter of the American population believes they would need at least $1 million in assets to feel financially secure in these cities. That's why in recent years, there has been a significant migration to less expensive states like Mississippi, Kansas or Alabama. On average, Americans spend $690.75 on food each month, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This, combined with average health expenses of $96.42 per month, results in a total expense of $2,816.17 for renters and $2,744.17 for homeowners. In other words, over 85% of Americans' income after taxes goes to essential expenses. This excludes other essential expenses like transportation, childcare, and debt payments. Many Americans are feeling the impact of rising living costs, food, and housing. Utilities, car insurance, and homeowners insurance continue to increase in price, making it increasingly difficult to save money. 
Uh, property insurance rates in Florida are predicted to jump at least 40% this year, according to the Insurance Information Institute. Budget experts advise Americans to spend only 50% of their net income on needs, 30% on wants, and 20% on savings or debt repayment. We see that the allocation changes significantly, with people spending 75% of their available income on needs, leaving very little for wants and savings for their financial future. Therefore, depending on where you live and your income, many Americans really can't meet that target allocation. Another major factor driving up prices is interest rates. Over a third of Americans said that increases in interest rates have made them feel financially uncomfortable, and they're right. The Fed has raised its key interest rate yet again to the highest level in 16 years. While this is a strategy to counter inflation, some fear the increasing interest rates are doing more harm than good to the economy. Since March 2022, the Federal Reserve has implemented 11 interest rate hikes to combat inflation, hindering the affordability of various products and services, with housing purchases at the top of the list. For example, if you bought a $375,000 house in 2021, your monthly payments would have been around $2,000, while now you'd pay close to $3,400 per month for the same house. These increases have not only been seen in the housing market, but also in cars and credit cards, where even for people with perfect credit scores, interest rates are as high as 20.5%, reaching up to 30% for those with lower credit scores. Credit cards have become indispensable among Americans, even breaking historical debt records. Credit card debt in the U.S. has reached a staggering record high, topping $1 trillion for the first time, this according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, as millions of cardholders carry balances month after month, year after year. One in three Americans claims to have more credit card debt than savings in their bank account. In a study, Experian revealed that the average American owes $96,371 in credit card, mortgage, and auto loan debt. This is because the average salary in the United States simply doesn't cover basic household needs, forcing people to take on debt. This, coupled with the increasing difficulty in accessing credit, has made people unable to feel secure about their finances, preventing them from saving significant sums of money, or in other words, living paycheck to paycheck. If you're financially stressed, you're not alone. A new CNBC Your Money survey finds 74% of Americans are stressed about their personal finances. That's up from 70% in our April report conducted by SurveyMonkey. And 37% of respondents say they're very stressed. The fact that many Americans are in this situation shows that it's not an isolated case. However, debt is a way to channel some of our financial resources, and it can be a very effective tool when used correctly. American households are the mainstay of the country's economy, so public policies are needed to improve the economic prospects of Americans as the economy is anchored to consumer spending. The inclusion of Social Security policies is also of vital importance as it forms the basis of financial security for retirees and, in many cases, is the only source of income that prevents older people from falling into poverty. Monthly Social Security checks are set to increase. Now, on average, it'll come out to an additional $140 every month for recipients, the largest increase in 40 years. But with inflation burning through our cash more than ever, many elderly people in our area say it's just not enough. Employers also play a significant role in this, as they should ensure that employees have access to retirement savings opportunities or emergency savings, as well as the ability to enroll in benefits such as health insurance, life insurance, or disability insurance. Millions of people are struggling to make ends meet today, and this figure is on the rise, meaning that it's a growing problem. The fact that many Americans live in financial insecurity poses a significant risk to the economy as a whole. If measures aren't taken to improve the financial condition of American households, it will eventually affect us all.